It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again Been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell hey guys. you all so before I'm going to start with this video, I first want to address my hair. Uh, I went to the hairdressers yesterday and I had literally walked in there and was like, I don't know what I want with my hair, just do something. It can be extreme because I love experimenting with new stuff. And then this happened. So I'm kind of a half brunette, I would say. They call it kind of bronze because it's a mix between blonde, of course, and brown. And it's super dark here at my roots. And it's also a little bit shorter because my hair was pretty damaged. Anyways, this video is not going to be about my new hair, but what's on my cloning rack for the winter of 2015. Yeah, today I'm going to talk about my favorite key pieces for the winter of 2015. So let's start. The first top that I wanted to show you is this burgundy top from Brandy Melville. Uh, what I love about this top is of course the color, it's very wintry. I love wearing burgundy and all kind of dark shades during the winter time. It also has a very nice material. It's kind of shiny. I don't know, it's very soft and flowy and I think a top like this is perfect if you want to go out in the winter. Uh, I also have these two tees that I wanted to show you. Honestly, I'm the type of person that still wears tees. I usually throw on a very warm... Oh, that was my phone. <laughs> uh, I usually throw on like a very warm coat and a scarf and then I'm good to go. And usually when I'm at a lecture or something, it's not very cold. So I can, I don't know, pull off a tee without dying of cold. I have this one from Brandy Melville that says cute but psycho because I'm definitely cute and psycho. <laughs> and uh, I have this shirt uh, that says Balmain Friends. It's from the Balmain X uh, H&M collaboration. And yeah, I love them both. I think they're just very cool tees to just pair with like a fedora and black jeans and some booties and you're good to go. I think I show these pieces like in almost every what's on my clothing rack and that's because I love them so much and I wear them so much. So I have these two bralettes. This one is from uh, Pieces and it's a black bralette. And this one is from Topshop and it's baby blue, my favorite color. So the next section that I'm going to talk about are sweaters and I'm definitely a sweater kind of girl. I love sweaters, most of the time I'm wearing sweaters because I think they're just a little bit more interesting than a tee. Uh, the first sweater that I'm going to show you is probably my newest sweater. Um, it's from River Island and it's super soft. Like. Oh my god, I want to cuddle myself like all the time when I'm wearing this, especially because it's very boxy as you can see. It has a very like straight fit um, and I think this sweater is like the most comfortable sweater ever. So the next sweater that I wanted to show you is this black sweater uh, and it's from Brandy Melville. As you can see, I have a lot of clothing from Brandy Melville just because it's my favorite brand. I love like the materials and just the fit of everything. Like Brandy Melville is by far my favorite clothing brand ever. So um, I actually didn't own any black sweater for like years. So what I love about this sweater is that it's kind of open knitted but not too much. So you can wear like a bralette underneath it and it will show through a little bit. Next up is this sweater and I love my black but I also love wearing white and especially white sweaters. I don't know, I have kind of a crush on white sweaters. So this sweater is from She Inside and as you can see it has kind of a deep v-neck but the awesome part of this sweater is the back. As you can see it has this kind of lace-up detailing at the back. Hope you can see it. But um, yeah, this makes it super cool to wear again with a bralette because it will show at the back and it's also, the sweater is also a little bit off the shoulder. So yeah, although it's like very kind of revealing, if you just wear a cute top, cute bralette underneath it, it's all good. And also because the fit of this sweater is super laid back, super casual, so it's not very revealing and also like tight fitting if you know what I mean. 
Next up is another sweater from Brandy Melville. I know I love my Brandy Melville sweaters. This is also a good example of a little bit more of a boxy sweater. It's definitely um, not very tight fitting, but it's also very cropped and I love the color. So what I like about cropped sweaters is that they look very cute with high-waisted skirts. For example, like this outfit would be super cute. And I actually also paired it in an outfit uh, in a lookbook and I'll link it down below. It's like my winter fashion trends lookbook. Um, yeah, so if you want to see some pieces on me and how I style them, also watch that lookbook. Now I have two sweaters to show you that are both on the Primark. This sweater is kind of my most favorite, famous sweater. Um, I got it from the Primark once, then I lost it super randomly when I was cycling home. Um, yeah, I wasn't wearing it by the way. <laughs> Um, and then I bought it again because I loved it so much and this sweater I got a while later and it's a navy and it's kind of a different material too because this sweater has mohair in it which keeps you super warm and this is just like synthetic viscose I think so it's not as warm but it is a little bit softer and the last sweater that I'm going to show you is in my favorite color I don't really wear a color but if I wear a color it's probably this um, it's still very muted, this uh, baby blue, and um, yeah, this is also a cropped sweater with a cool neck, so it keeps you a little bit warmer around the neck area. Um, it's very soft, again, pretty boxy, but I just like to tuck it in in high-waisted pants, and then it's a little bit less boxy, and you keep kind of your figure. So yeah, this one is from Misguided, and I got it, I think, one or two winters ago, so it's not new, but I still love it. Okay, this is kind of a random category, I would say turtleneck tee category. Uh, this is actually a long sleeve, um, it's from Primark, and this is just an essential if you want to layer. Uh, honestly, this looks super cute with a vest over it, with a cardigan over it, you can pair it with a skirt. Um, for example this button-up skirt that I'm wearing. So the next section that I want to show you are jackets and vests. These are all pieces that you can wear over your tops, uh, even over your sweaters. So the first thing is this vest from Bershka. I got it actually in the summer sale when I was in Greece on vacation and um, yeah it's definitely one of my best buys ever because I've worn it a lot. It looks kind of like a trench without any sleeves and I love wearing like uh, the grey turtleneck sweater from Primark underneath it or um, any sweater for that matter. I think it's just very nice and it kind of elongates your body too. So next up is this blazer. Honestly, I don't really like to wear cardigans in the winter. I don't know why. I just think they don't really look good on my body and they kind of kill my outfit. I don't know, it's a very weird thing but I just never found cardigans that I actually really like. That's why I wanted to show you a blazer that's also pretty warm. I also got it on sale during that vacation in Greece, by the way. And the last vest that I wanted to show you is this faux fur vest. And if there's one thing that I wear mostly during the winter time, it's faux fur. I have like three faux fur coats and actually I had four but I sold one. <laughs> This item is also great for layering as well. I love to wear it with tunics. I love to wear it with like the ripped long sleeve turtleneck. So last but not least, I'm going to show you a couple of the dresses that I like to wear in winter. I have two dresses to show you and they're actually both lace up. If you know me, you know that I love the lace up trend. I think it's very sexy, different. I've never seen it kind of before. And yeah, I just like it. I have this dress from Showy. Um, it's kind of of a ripped material as well and it's actually pretty warm and I also have this tunic from Primark and it's also in this very pretty kind of purple burgundy color also with lace up but this lace up is like not really revealing so that's everything that's on my clothing rack um, I hope you enjoyed it by the way I do wear pants, I do have skirts, but everything is in this closet. I never hang them on my clothing rack because I don't think it looks very pretty. But if you want some inspiration for like what you can wear on the bottom and stuff, uh, just watch that lookbook. I think I said it for like the millionth time, but, that, uh, but there I'm shown like button up skirts. Um, I also like skater skirts, cigarette pants, high waisted black jeans 
those are usually the bottoms that I wear with all of these tops because I think most of these tops look just very cute with those items. And for shoes I mostly wear black booties because they're my favorite. And um, for coats I like faux fur coats, I like camel coats, I have like a black coat and that's mostly it. I don't have anything else to say, have a fucking amazing day and I'll talk to you later, bye guys.